I am Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well today I'd like to talk about this Mercury retrograde that's occurring and how it's going to affect you personally. So Mercury turns retrograde on July 26th, 2018 at 29 degrees of Cancer. So it's going to be backing up through the sign of Cancer throughout the, this month of August. So you're going to want to know how it affects you according to your ascendant or your moon sign. Remember, you can use either the ascendant. The ascendant's going to give you a more personal look at how this is affecting you. Your moon sign is going to give you a sense of how you're feeling through this period of time. So I'm going to go through all 12 signs. And I want you to remember, you must be using your sidereal Vedic sign, not your Western tropical sign, because in Vedic astrology, it shifts to a sign back. So please be aware of that. If you would like to know where your, where your ascendant or your moon sign are in your Vedic chart, you can go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org and go to the free chart calculator. It will give you your ascendant and your moon sign. And that's the one you're going to be listening for. So for those of you that have Aries as your ascendant or your moon sign, this means that Mercury is retrograding in your fourth house. And that means that you're having a change of heart, a change of mind about how things are going in your home. Now there's going to be some effects and reversals of things going on in your family life. Maybe some parties will be postponed or things may change in terms of, of certain things that you had planned. If you're trying to buy a house, you will change your mind about this property and home. Home. So be aware it's all about your home and your family. Mercury, when it turns retrograde, causes us to change our mind. So this will also involve some of our communications with, with our mother. So there will be disagreements, there will be misunderstandings. Please be ultra clear. Make sure that you don't leave things out. So that's Aries. Now let's talk about if your ascendant or your moon's in Taurus. This means that the Mercury is retrograding through your third house. And this could mean there's a change of plans with your travels. And maybe some trips get postponed or rearranged. And when you do travel, be aware there's going to be some inconveniences because with that, things get cross you know, cross-reference, things change when Mercury's retrograde. And another thing is, make sure that you're very clear in understanding with your brothers and sisters because there will probably be some misunderstandings because things get lost in conversation or you feel like you know something but you don't about them. So there's a lot happening in terms of travels. And it may be that you're thinking about starting some studies, but at this time you may change your mind. Okay. So if your ascendant or your moon sign is Gemini with Mercury retrograde in this sign, this means there's going to be some changes in your financial status. Maybe what you wanted to buy, you change your mind, or maybe you get a bill and you see there's discrepancies to be made according to how much you were charged. So with this also, be careful what you're saying. You may not say the right thing at the right time. Always think first before you speak with Mercury retrograde in the second house. But also you're gonna find that even even the things that you want to eat, your diet, nutrition, and things of that nature are going to change this month. So if your ascendant is Cancer, you've got Mercury retrograde happening either in your first house, if, if it's your ascendant, 
or if it's your moon, it's affecting your moon. You're going to be changing your mind quite frequently. You know, you think you wanted to go one direction and you're in indecision as to what to do because you can't make up your mind during this time. <clears throat> so another thing is you may have just a completely different outlook and the things that you're attracted to in terms of how you dress, your, your choice of colors and decisions on where to go, what to do. Everything's in flux right now with this Mercury retrograde. You're going to be very changeable and your decisions will differ from the way you normally are. So if your ascendant's Leo, remember with Mercury, it's going to be retrograde in your 12th house. It is a time when things will come back from the past, when you will get memories of issues and things from before, and things will surface. And this can also be a time when you can resolve some of your differences from past relationships. But it, it brings up things from the past, but I guarantee you, you're going to feel very, very differently about them. Another thing is pay attention to your dreams. Your sleep patterns will change. There'll be different hours, but you may wake up or you may have very interesting dreams where valuable information can be revealed. So if your ascendant or your moon are in Virgo, this means that this Mercury retrograde are in your 11th house. Old friends will come back. Old acquaintances, people you haven't seen in a while. This is, this is going to bring up some old friends and feelings. And don't be surprised when you get a call from one of your long lost friends from a long time ago. But You'll be invited to a lot of social events where there's a lot of communications and gatherings where you learn different and new things. But basically, you may even meet some people from the past or there'll be some old subjects or learning or books that, that arise that you used to be very interested in. There'll be resurgence of this information. So if your ascendant is Libra, then this means that this Mercury retrograde is happening in your 10th house, which the 10th house deals with your work, your career. So please make sure that around your workplace, you make sure your boss understands what you're trying to do because there will be disagreements, there will be miscommunications concerning the workplace. And you may feel differently at this time about your work. You may feel dissatisfied or you want to change and there's a lot of indecision with things that are going on with your place of work and maybe you're looking for a job but you don't, you can't decide what you want to do. This will be the effects of Mercury retrograde while it's in your 10th house. So if you're ascended, is Scorpio, then this means that the Mercury is retrograding in your ninth house and this will cause havoc in travel plans. So make sure that, that you check your plans, make sure that there's not delays or weather delays, which there probably will be. This is a time that things seem to go wrong more. But with Mercury retrograde in the ninth, you start to change how you believe. Some of your philosophies in life are going to be quite different than before. And you tend to question things, but you want to learn more about the truths of what's really going on. This is a time that you're starting to have interest in things you never had before. A new learning will come about during this time. <clears throat> If your ascendant or your moon are in Sagittarius, then this means that Mercury is retrograde in your eighth house. But what's interesting is Mercury actually is the only planet that prospers in the eighth house. So therefore, during this time, you're going to be really involved in some time 
type of investigation and research where you really get to the core and the bottom of understanding something. Though this is a time of deep study and deep reflection. And I will say some things will come up through your search, through your investigation, something you didn't know about from the past. This is what this will reveal. But this is a time when you really feel kind of like a, the mad scientist trying to get to the core and the bottom of something you've been trying to understand for a long, long time. And you will get answers at this time. So if your ascendant is in Capricorn or your moon's in Capricorn, then this means that this Mercury retrograde is taking place in your seventh house. There can be many miscommunications with your partner. Be aware that you're very, very clear as to what you want them to know. Don't assume that they know what you're thinking. They're not psychic. So that's one thing that you've got to be aware of. Another thing is you may change your feelings about something with your partner. And if you're in a relationship that's kind of on the rocks, you might feel that you feel very differently about this relationship during this time you'll feel a little fickled and change your mind this is for sure now if your ascendant or your moon is in aquarius then this means that mercury is going to be transiting your sixth house and this will have its effects on your work your co-workers there can be disagreements there can be things that you don't really understand or that you're not clear with each other, please make sure the lines of communication are clear and open with your coworkers or your employees because your employees may not know what you expect of them. This is really important. And with Mercury retrograding through this house, you will have a change in your dietary patterns and habits. The things that you used to like and do, you won't have the time for, or the interest in, so this will change. And of course, this is always temporary. Now, if your ascendant or your moon is in Pisces, then this means that Mercury is retrograding through your fifth house. Now, the fifth house is the house of intelligence in the mind. And it means that your mind feels a little fickled and foggy at times because Mercury retrograde will change how you usually approach things and think. And sometimes you're just going to want to go out, relax, and have a good time because Mercury retrograding through the fifth house is about relaxing and having fun, not being serious about anything. Go to some sporting events, go to some entertaining events, and you're gonna find that this will be a good time for you to take off from serious worry or anything that's been bothering before. This is a time to lighten up and realize that there may be some new studies that you're out to explore and investigate because the fifth house can be things that we learn as well. Maybe a time that you have to be even more clear with your children because you're this is the fifth house of children so it can mean disagreements misunderstandings remember mercury retrograde represents that we're not being clear and when it goes retrograde we've got to remember to have more clarity and this will avoid many of the pitfalls of misunderstandings through the mercury retrograde period so this covers all the 12 signs I want you to realize that when Mercury is only retrograde for three weeks, three times a year, and, and towards the very end of this month, it's going to be going, of, of August, it's going to be going direct, and all of this will change again. So take this time and use it for what it's good for, to reflect, to reanalyze, to go back and try to understand what it is that we need to learn through our reflection when Mercury is retrograde. So with that, I'd like to close. If you're interested in learning more about Vedic Astrology, you can go to my university, which is universityofvedicastrology.com, 
And there's a new start date, which is September 13th. Check it out. And if you'd like to learn more about me, you can go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.